Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to one of my favorite wee places. We're back in John's Haven today. Um, quite busy today. There's a lot of uh, tourists about, a lot of people out walking, um, including myself. Um, so we're going to walk away along to Hunter's, no, sorry, Thinker's, Thinker's Hill today, which is just a little bit along here, past the houses. We've been up it before. But Thinkers Hill is its official name. And we're just going to do a bit of chilling today. Get under there. A uh, bit of chilling. And we've got binoculars, obviously, because the whales were seen here last night. A couple of whales. So always live in hope. Always take the binoculars and uh, always have a look. But we're just here for a little stroll. And then we'll go back and uh, get ourselves a coffee now on the way back. But yeah, lovely little afternoon just for a little stroll about. It's warm, I might take my top off in a minute. Not my whole top, just my, my top. <laughs> Don't want to scare away the viewers. So come with me along to uh, Thinker's Hill. And we'll see what we can see on route. So we've got a nice little uh, stony beach here. Yeah, John's Haven doesn't have a sandy beach, just a stony beach. And along here, these houses here, um, there lives a famous, well, he used to live, I'm not sure if he still stays here, a famous actor who was in a... Uh, Star Wars. Now, I can't remember who it was. I'll maybe just look it up in a second, but uh, yeah, Star Wars actor stays here in John Saban. It was Ian McDermott who played Emperor Palpatine in Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. Palpatine. Does that ring a bell? Any Star Wars fans? I'm not familiar with it myself, but anyway, Ian McDermott, he stays in the house just uh, up here. We'll see if he's in the garden today, we'll say hello. Right, we've got wildlife cam on the go, with a little snail. Trying to make his way into the grass here. So this little bit here is a lovely place to stay. This little uh, place here, this little studio. It's got the most amazing views and it's a nice little balcony just to sit and chill. Little terrace. Beautiful little place to stay. Right, through we go. Actually, that's Thinker's Hill. Further on, actually, it's not these ones. It's further along, folks. So let's come out into another little bay. Lots of little bays up here on the east coast. And this line comes further down as well. As you can see, uh, forecast is just a little bit of drizzle today. But not, uh, not too much, hopefully. Very still. Sea is very still today, so perfect whale and dolphin watching conditions. Now these people in front of me look like they're gonna to climb to the top of the Thinkers Hill where I want to go. Rude. Right, I think you can actually get along here into the next bay. So I'm gonna have a quick walk this way. All those people are up on the uh, the hill. So this is the rocky uh Bay beside uh, the Thinkers Hill, this Thinkers Hill just there. Not really liking the look of these clouds coming over. Look at them black. We we'll might get a wee downpour, I think, just shortly. Get nice and wet. Oh, there's a wee uh, signpost up here. Looks very overgrown to get up there, but we'll give it a shot in a minute. Else has got the lime kilns and things. 1750. That's them over there. Right, folks, we're going to give it a go. There's a wee bit of a path up here, but it's very overgrown. A lot of nettles and things, so um, let's see what it's like on the top. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's a little bit slippy because of the rain we've had the last few days. A bit muddy. Right, we made it to the top of Thinkers Hill. Let's have a little think. Stunning view of the whole from John's Haven right over to Montrose basically. Beautiful. A bit windier up here. 
but perfect uh, view of the seas. And then there's the other bay all the way along there. It's beautiful. I should just walk my chair actually. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get binoculars out and just uh, scan the seas. You can already see stuff over there. Looks like dolphins more than whales, but uh, let's get the binos out, folks. And uh, I'll try and get some stuff on film if we see anything. Right, so the dolphins are just there. I can see them in the middle of the picture. Oh, you can see them, folks. I'll just zoom in a bit there. There we go. It's quite a big pod of them, actually. Yeah, there's a fair few. I'm going to get the binos out and have a, a closer look. slowly moving across there's not they're not very active today they're just going quite slow they're quite far out but they're just moving slowly across the bay here i was hoping to see them kind of jumping out a bit but uh must be the wee afternoon nap or something but we'll keep watching folks got no good view up here right they've moved away into tanglia at the minute folks i might come back that's tanglia bay where we were a couple of weeks ago and uh, i don't think you can see right over to St. Silas and Montrose, way, way in the distance there. Very, very calm. Now, there is a really good bench to sit on beside the lime kilns over there. But those people in front of me have hogged it. Where are they? There. Look, see, they've got it sitting right there. But I'm quite happy just to stand here at the minute. You've got a lot of patience, folks, when you're watching for whales and dolphins. So at least we've seen a few dolphins today. That's uh, that's good. Bring on the whales next. Right, why is the water in? Um, yes, let's give you a wee update on the, the weather since we're here. Um, so we're just about towards the end of July now, folks. I think it's the 22nd of July today. And you can tell we've still had no summer. It's just constant cloud, rain. Uh, dullness. It's been quite warm, but not like boiling. So we're still waiting for the summer to happen here in Scotland. Um, roasting everywhere else, but here, this is our summer, I think this is it. But they do say September and October is going to be the summer months, so we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. But you just have to make the most of uh, every day you can, folks. Maybe we're going to have a beautiful winter as well. Beautiful blue skies, sunny winter days. They're my favourite days even though they're cold. Um, if you get the blue skies in the winter and the sun, it's just amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I wish I bought my chair. A fold-up chair, I could just sit here. Now, folks, a quick update. It's been about maybe half an hour since the last filmed, and we've seen the whale a couple of times, it's come up and then gone down and just disappeared so uh, it's so hard to get it on camera uh, so it's not a massive whale, it's just a monkey whale, so it's, um, they just come up and then go back down and feed again, so it's really hard to to capture, but anyway I've been here for about an hour look at the clouds, we had a nice little sunny spell there, it was really hot but now the clouds have come back out again, so uh, we're going to stay just for a wee bit more and then head back into the tun and we'll get ourselves a coffee and a, a juice or something. Very enjoyable though, very peaceful just sitting here. Those people are still on that bench, they've been here longer than me. But it's great just sitting here chilling, it's such a lovely view and just, it's not cold. And it's great just watching the seas. Plenty of dolphins about. And I say we think we've seen the whale.
Right, so the bench has become free at long last. So I'm going to have a quick uh, 10 minutes long here to sort of change off scene before the rain comes on. Positive it's going to come on. It's just getting so dark now. Um, but yeah, as I said before, a lot, of, uh, a lot of things to see. Lots of wildlife out there. So let's just even get a better angle. Well, not a better angle, just rest my back because it's sort of standing or just sitting on the grass all the time. So, <laughs> yeah. so let's see this... Uh, bench up here is quite comfortable a comfortable bench my god how old am i getting looking for a bench in my uh, old age for goodness sake right should just be up here i think it's covered in uh, weeds and things though because the grass is very high here there's folks park bench oh it's not even a bench though that's right it's just a log oh well <laughs> at least there's a change of scene folks here we go 10 minutes on the bench. Right, that's just walking back into town now, folks. Looking forward to a cup of coffee and a nice cold can of Diet Coke um, from John's Haven Stores. Actually, I might go to the wee uh, Treasures, Treasures, you know what I can't say? Treasures Coffee Shop. Treasures Coffee Shop. Treasures Coffee Shop um, to get coffee. Maybe even a slice of cake. So the lobster shops. Honestly, what's wrong with my speech? The lobster shop is shut. The lobster shop is shut today. Um, so no lobster sandwiches today. And I think Treasures Tea Room. <laughs> the lobster shop is shut, and Treasures Tea Room might also be shut. Oh my God. Anyway, folks, we're going to get whatever's open. John Saving Stores will be open, so we'll get something in there. Yes, we will. <laughs> so up here in front of me, I think I showed you briefly on the way in. It's the, I don't think it's famous, but it's well known obviously in the town. The Crab House, because it looks like a crab. The way it's been built, it's the most amazing house. It sits like it's a big, well, it looks like a crab. It's got a balcony and it's got a little, uh, not a shed, but like a little room way at the top of the hill, a little office or something. It looks amazing, but it's called the Crab House because it looks like a crab. So I'll try and get another picture as we go past, just to let you see what I mean. It's the two um, windows that like the crab's eyes. Anyway, you'll see what I mean in a second. So here it is here, folks, the crab house. So you can see it looks like a, a crab. See what I mean? Not a place to stay though. And the wee uh, office thing on the top of the hill. The crab house. There we go. Let me show you the um, my new holiday home that I bought. Nice. <laughs> How cool is that? Just enough space to lie in. And uh, that's it. Put in the back of your car. A little bed for the night. Cool. So if you ever want to come and stay in John's Haven, you can rent this little house here, as recommended by Mr. and Mrs. Savage. <laughs> oh, Linda and co, hope you're okay. Here's your little house. I think it's that one, you said. I think it was this one here that you can rent. Seashore and retreat. I think it's that one. Not too sure, but anyway. Um, nice little place to come and stay for a week or two. Youngs Lane. A lot of these little signs here, down to kind of little nooks and cranny streets. And over the parky path, right of way. Let's see if we can get down this way. Right, I think we have to go down this way, past the ruined house, and along the coastline. So rather than going along the main road this time, we're going along the, the coast. But it's like a lot of these paths are demolished <laughs> because of the weather. Anyway, put a camera away for a minute. So this is the lobster shop. Just shut today. 
It's a nice place to come and uh, can have a sani and a cup of coffee. So there's Treasures Tea Room there. It is closed today. Oh, hidden, hidden Treasures Tea Room is called. Closed today. A lot of things are here that are closed on a Tuesday. So we're heading to John's Haven Stores, which is just up here. And we'll grab some coffee and a juice.